Morning. How are we doing? Welcome to another vlog stroke tech review. We're testing out the R6 this morning, the Canon R6 for um, landscape photography with the kit lens. I'm at a place called Witchbold. I've tried a couple of locations this morning, didn't really work. It's, it's a bit too dark for walking through woods on my own, if I'm totally honest. So we're going up which bold hill just parked on the side of the road waiting for a bit more light in the sky to come because in typical Zanderan fashion I'm way too early um, so we're gonna just give it 10 minutes and then I'm gonna try and it's not much of a hike about a 10 20 minute hike to the top of this which bold hill I'm gonna try and take some photos with the Canon R6 with the kit lens see what it's like see how it copes with like, sunrise I have got the variable ND filter to bang on there if I need to so we're just gonna see how we get on this morning let's go Okay, well, we're at the top of the hill and it's a bit windy again. The weather, it said it was supposed to be nice. It's supposed to be nice today, it's supposed to be 22 degrees. Um, but as you can see, it's, yeah, it's not the best. It's a little bit overcast and it's not looking very pretty. Uh, but I was gonna go there, you see the witch bowls up the top of there is like a, it's a spire, sort of a monument thing. I was going to go up there, I might try and just whip the camera out right here and see what it picks up with a little bit of a longer exposure. Don't think I'm quite high enough. Sunrise is still about 20 minutes away, but I don't think we're going to see much of a sunrise with the weather being what it is. Uh, the wind is blowing, hopefully. Might blow some of this cloud away, we'll see. But I'm just gonna set up quickly here, give the camera out, at least take some photographs because I don't wanna come out at five o'clock in the morning and not take any photos. <laughs> so we're gonna do that quickly. I might take this shot that's sort of going up the hill towards the spire, take that one. So yeah, let's do that now, quickly. Take a few photos and then see where we go from here. I've got the shot going up the hill towards the spire. Um, I'm gonna get the longer lens on, I'm gonna get the 70 to 200 on, bang it on, see what that looks like. Um, it's very windy. My tripod is a, a very light, <laughs> can you, it's a very light carbon tripod and um, it's just too light, I think, for this kind of situation. I need a heavy duty one. Um, but yeah, it's really windy. Do you know what? I'm uh, yeah, giving up that bit of location the lights come up quite drastically in like the last five minutes while I've been standing there getting blown over so we're changing the plan we're going handheld I've got the um, I've got the Sigma 35 millimeter on it now I'm just gonna have a walk about see if what I can take with it see what the photography abilities are like on this camera see what I can create out of this bad situation because it's just not gone to plan this morning so we're going to, have to walk up to the top towards the spire, take some photos, see what we can do. absolutely battered up here but it's it's okay I've got I've had taken a few shots I'll turn it off yeah just take a few shots some long focal length shots with the lens this is windy this is one I've, I've got to get out where do I get out the wind where do I go there's nowhere to go I don't know where to hide all right if I if I shield you Okay, so this is 
<laughs> one amazing setup, the Canon R6 with the 7200. Uh, it's just working so well. Like I said in my previous video about this, my first impressions, just so good. It just feels like such a complete camera. So much. It's hard for me to not get excited because I'm coming from a Canon M50. I'm coming from a budget mirrorless camera, interchangeable lenses, and I've got used to that over the last two, two and a half years, but this is just like a level up. It's so much, so it's like a pleasure to use. It's so nice. The settings are easy. You can get a frame really, really quickly. The lenses are obviously quality, quality, expensive lenses, and I'm very privileged and lucky to have them. Um, but it's just so much fun to use and I'm I'm loving it so uh, just if you're new to the channel please make sure you do stay tuned subscribe press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads because there's going to be loads and loads of good content created with this camera I'm having so much fun with it and it is for the time being an amazing bit of kit I've had no overheating issues I've been using it constantly for the last hour taking photos obviously photography is going to be fine yesterday i was recording jake doing that c log 120 um and i i made a mistake and i was actually in 4k 60 to start with uh, and it did come up um with the overheating warning it gave me five minutes left to 4k footage so i have had a warning when it comes to the video that was before though i'd updated the firmware i noticed last night it was still the original firmware on the camera so i've updated the firmware to 1.1.1 which is supposed to, in room temperature purposes, at least just made those overheating issues go away for um, a reasonable amount, reasonable amount of um, filming. But yeah, I can't talk. I'm so cold. Anyway, that's me rambling. I'm gonna carry on walking. We've come from down there, so I'll park the car there. So I've walked up that path. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna walk back down that way more or less, take some more photos on the way down with the 7200, spend a, another five minutes or so up here taking some photos. Sunrise is, is sort of now, um, and there is no sun to be seen, so it's a bit of a fail on the sunrise shoot, but I've taken some nice atmospheric um, sort of landscape photog photography. I'll get into Lightroom later on in the video and you can see me editing the video, editing the photos, um, yeah, and we'll take it from there. So we're going to wake our way back down. I'm going to have a walk around this sort of spire thing, which bold spire, walk around it and then walk back down. Take some more photos. Go on. Oh, my legs are not dead. Oh, God. Cows weren't there last time. What are we going to do now? Don't look. Don't look at the cows. You don't look at the cows. They won't look at you. Don't look at the cows. Don't follow me, cow. They're looking at me. Okay, that was weird. They cows ain't bothered really, they're not bothered about you. They're just more interested in eating. Oh, uh, okay. That spiced up the morning. Got some pictures of some cows. Nice cows. Nice photos, see how they look. Well, anyway, that's it, we're gonna get back. Gonna football then after. We'll get into uh, the studio, edit the photos. Thanks for coming along with me.
Hi guys, well we're back in the studio. We're gonna get these edited. I've done a few already, so I'll just quickly show them um, to you. They're not the best, like I said, when I was out this morning, not the most amazing photos, um, but this is pretty much how they look. I've done this one. This one looks okay, you've got the spire in there and you've got the path that's leading up towards the spire, so I quite like that one, like the composition. Um, what I've been doing recently, I've been using the Taylor Jackson presets. Um, a lot of these are very, very nice. Taylor Jackson's a wedding photographer, um, so they're a bit more for wedding photography, portrait-based photos. They're a bit more for portrait-based photos um, to get the best out of those, not landscape, but a lot of these are very good presets. So, But this one I've just done myself, went down and did my usual tricks with the S-curve, bringing the shadows up there to get a bit of a more of a faded effect, up the shadows and down the blacks. Um, a little bit more vibrance to get that green punching through, so that was quite nice. Uh, there was a few more down here. Which ones did I edit? I'm just running through these. Obviously these look quite dark, but I mean, because I'm shooting in RAW, this one's for instance, if we just go over here and just press Auto, it brings so much of the detail back because we're shooting in RAW. You've got to shoot in RAW, guys. Um, this one was quite nice. Uh, I've tried to get the flower in the foreground, so it's got that little tiny bit of detail in the foreground and then that path running again towards the, take that path takes us towards the background. Bit more grain in that one, um, don't mind the grain. And then this one I did a uh, landscape portrait, um, instead of a portrait I did a landscape mode. So yeah, that was not too bad. Again not overly happy with these this one i think i used taylor jackson's uh which one was it the clean 2020 clean one and i just upped the exposure just a little just a tad and just like i said it's not um these when you're using presets and lots for video it's not um all just click and done sometimes you you get lucky and you can uh, but let's have a go at this one. I like this tree that I was shooting down towards the valley. See, some of these just don't work. Um, but we'll check these. These ones, destination ones, are really nice. But with this particular photo, they don't work at all. My faded style, stylistic fade, ZR, Lightroom preset probably works the best and then we can bring the exposure down. So we'll start off there i want to get rid of that vignette is a bit too strong so we'll get that vignette uh, we will crop this to start with i always use four by five or eight by ten instead of one by one for instagram because i just don't like one by one try and get that tree more or less in the middle of this in the frame so it's the center of what we're all looking at i want to bring that exposure down a bit Like that, maybe the contrast. Bring those highlights down to bring some more detail out in the sky look. Blacks down a little bit. Clarity's already up. Uh, that we need to probably go up a little bit with. And that up a little bit. And bring the that fade is a bit too much. You see you lose the shadows in the tree. If we take it all up, you, you get the shadows, so they've just gone, the blacks. So we need to bring that down so we don't lose that. Too bad. Too bad there. No, well, I don't want that. What's going on there then? Too bad there. Yeah. Um, what else can we do? We can try and bring, maybe we'll add a bit of a filter into this one. So we'll add a filter into the sky. Bring it down just a tad. And then try and bring the exposure down a little bit to bring some more detail into the sky like that. See? Some shadows as well. So that brings the detail in the clouds. That looks that looks that looks pretty good actually, and yeah, happy with that one. So uh, yeah, we don't want to do too much more to that. Um, yeah, we'll export that one. Overall, when it comes to taking photos, don't be disheartened if you get out and the weather's not good. You're getting blown around. Things aren't going like you like you want them to go. The vlog didn't go how I wanted it to go. I wanted to get the drone up, but it's too windy. I didn't have time. It, things don't always go to plan, but out of probably 100 photos, you're going to get one or two that you're really happy with, and that makes the journey out 
all worthwhile. Um, so getting out in the morning, getting some fresh air, getting a bit of exercise, along with taking some wicked photos uh, and getting attacked by some cows, although they didn't really attack me, is what it's all about and what I, I just love this journey. And yeah, these little adventures in the morning or in the night, um, yeah, when you get, you've got to get out and about and you, things happen. You're going to find places that you just didn't know about. You've got to take photos that you didn't think you'd be able to take in your lifetime. And uh, you know, this one's really cool. I'm really happy with that, the cow one. So, uh, yeah, just get out. Get out exploring. Get out shooting. Even if you don't think you're qualified enough or you don't think you're talented enough, you always can make a photo out of something like that, especially in the edit afterwards. So you just get out, guys. Get out exploring. Enjoy yourself and have fun with it. And just... Just make vids, man. That's what you're gonna do. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Taking these guys, stay tuned for loads of stuff coming up soon. Make sure you subscribe, press the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Loads of stuff coming up. So uh, appreciate all the comments, shares, likes, and all the, all the new subs that we're getting at the moment. It's fantastic. So thanks for all the support. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Take it easy. Bye.